Good morning YouTube, this is Susan and I wanted to share with you a project that I've been working on. Um, I uh, recently did a video on the Soft Crafter haul that I got the other day. It was a big box of fun, it had a lot of different projects in it for to work on. And I did work on the um, chipboard mini album typewriter uh, that Saw sells and I have to tell you it just turned out beautiful. I just love it so much. And I generally, when I make these books, I usually give them away, but this one I decided to keep for myself. So, um, I uh, here we go. I'll just start off real quick. Um, the front, I actually embossed the top cover. Um, the book comes with five chipboard pieces. Um, I embossed this with an aged silver embossing powder, and it turned out really well. It just really has a lot of cool texture on it that um, I think kind of what you would see on a you know, vintage typewriter. Um, and um, this is just a wooden, a little chip, or a little wooden piece uh, that I used the diamond stickles and put a stamp, a W stamp on there for my last name. And uh, covered it with glossy accents, put a little bling on there. And um, I, there is one hole in the middle and I decided to cover up that hole and make two new holes because I wanted two rings on it. Um, which was easily done. It was not a problem at all. Um, I actually had some jewelry wire that I snipped and put in these holes um, and just filled it with glossy accents to kind of hold it in place there and it's kind of cool I think. I purchased these uh, typewriter keys from Saw. I did get like three or four packages of them and I basically just painted them black and then I um, I, I used a little white paint to get to uh, kind of rub inside the letters there so that they would show up. And um, I think they look really vintage and I think they turned out really good. Um, <laughs> some of you that know typewriters very well, I didn't get all my letters in the right, all my little keys in the right place, but I did for the most part get them in the right place. I got, you know, a, a modern typewriter is much different, or a keyboard rather, is much different than the vintage typewriter. And then I had to make a little space bar for it. So I just used a little black cardstock and stamped space on there, kind of treated it the same way that I did the keys. Um, I did make little tabs at the bottom. What this is going to be is a, a phone book of my family and friends, so I don't really have anything cutesy to put that in other than some type of electronic device, which, you know, is not that fun. So I did put little tabs, uh, like A to F, you know, G, so on, so I know which page holds which letter. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I just, uh, I used the Communique Graphic 45 paper, uh, the back is kind of boring. Um, so we'll just go to the first page, and some stuff may fall out here. Alright, so this is the first page, and um, I did use my brother's scan and cut. I basically just traced an image of this chipboard and then scanned it in my brother and then cut the various uh, papers for each page and then I just made like a little library pocket here if you want to call it that um, and I did cut these on my my brother scan and cut also um, just kind of looks like the old Rolodex cards but I just drew I basically created that on you know in a web in a word document and saved it to my brother and then cut it. Um, and this is a Saw Crafters, the little MDF embellishment that I embossed with black and it has a really cool texture to it. Um, and then this is the next page. Um, the paper's so pretty. Um, let's see here. And I just cut, you know, fussy cut these little stamps out and um, I kind of went simple with it because I'm really just going to use it for addresses and phone numbers and whatnot. So pretty, so pretty. I love this paper. Um, and then this is the next page. I did order some magnets online, so I'm waiting for those to get here to hold these cards in. I'm going to put like a little belly band going down. I've already cut them out. I just haven't done it yet. So, and then, okay. So the next page, um, just some more of the paper. I did fussy cut this image and used a little bling. Um, and this is a pocket also, so the, all the pages are pretty much the same, it's just the paper that's kind of different on each page. And then this one, there, there's another pocket here, and then 
another pocket here. And just kind of pop that up to give it a little bit of interest. And then the next page, and that's ingress. The next page. And just a little pocket there. And I did, this is a sock crafter, the little clock embellishment that I painted. I just painted it and put glossy accents on the numbers and did the uh, little time hand there. Um, so basically it's very simple. I'm going to pop these up for a little interest. And that is pretty much it. That is my album. I just love it though. I think it turned out really great. Great little project. I normally do, you know, the, I make the books by hand. But I tell you, I would do this again. This was so much fun. And, um, it, and it just turned out really nice. I love it. Well, if you have any questions, just leave them below. Thank you for watching.